Do you mind? Welcome to Prague, city of myths, magic, and very, very cheap alcohol. Okay, Dana, now we've got some uh, tarot cards here, just the major cards out of the pack. Now, I'm going to ask you to uh, just choose one of these, just pick one uh, particular card. Go on, any, any one you like, that's it. Just the one. Okay, this one here. All right, let's grab that, take that. Right, show no, it to no, the camera. It. It's all right, you, no, you can show it. Camera. Yeah, it's not the kind of trick where you don't see. That's that, the, the hanged man. Oh, that's oh, that's a dodgy one. Now, are you any good at photography? Mm -hmm. You are now. Right, take hold of that. I want you to take a photograph of me, right? But wait till I've got the card. Now, I'm going to hold the card like this. OK, that's it, that's the... Uh, basically, push that button, but not till I say. OK, so are you ready? OK. And take a photograph of me. Take your finger away, otherwise it won't come out. Oh, yeah. That's it, great. Now, Dana, put your whole hand out. Give me your hand. That's great. Put that on there and put your other hand on top. Now, don't let go, whatever happens. Now, watch this. Look at the card. Look at the card. There, you can see the card is in one piece. Watch what I'm going to do with the card now. I'm going to tear the card. I'm going to tear a corner off there, like that. So I'm tearing the corner now, right? Now, remember when you took the photograph, the card was whole, right? This is it now. Look at the photograph. Look on there. <laughs> show the camera. Can you show this to the camera? It's here. No, the camera's here. No more clues. It's that big black thing. And look, look. Just, just hold that still. Let's, let's have a quick... Have we got, we got a shot? That, the corner is missing on there. Now, hold this. <laughs> Don't you wash your mouth out. Now, hold on to the corner, right? Oh, thank you. Well, hey, we like this trick. Hold on to that corner. Don't lose that, whatever you do. You hold the photograph. Now, watch this. Three-quarter card. I'm going to take the three-quarter card. I'm going to fold it up. Now, I'm going to put that card there inside that photograph, actually in the photo. When I say it's in the photo, it's not in it, it's in it. Feel, there's a bulge. Can you feel a bulge? I am quite excited. Just feel, feel there. Inside? Feel. You can feel that? Now, it's actually inside. You've still got the quarter, right? Now watch what happens here. I'll take the photograph, and at fingertips, I'm going to cut the top off like this. Now, Dana, reach inside there. Look, inside there, can you see? There's a card folded up. Reach inside. Take that out, it's a three-quarter card. Open it up. Open and unfold that. You've been holding that quarter all the way through. Inside the photograph. Does it match? Put it together. Is it the very same card? Yeah, it's the same, yeah. Great! Great! Right, OK, we're tooled up here. OK, somebody call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Slight of tongue. Yeah. I hate this trick. I love it. Hey, <laughs> stop! <laughs> That's called piercing, right? Martin! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do this in Denmark all the time. <laughs> really? <laughs> Drugs. Not really, the beans. OK, black-eyed beans. I'm going to take one of these. Now, this is a very strange and disgusting trick. All right. So I'm going to take one of those beans, and it involves beans and orifices. Do you know what orifices are? No? We'll have lessons on that later, but for the meantime, watch this. An orifice is a hole in your body. Okay. Don't look too worried, this is me we're talking about, not you. Right? Watch this. You have to get it nice and wet, like that, and you go... And it 
comes back out. It's good, ain't it? <laughs> now, last time he went, he went to get that one. Yeah? Oh, would you like to try? No, no. <laughs> Again, you do it from here. From to, to here? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, let's get rid of this stuff off there. Now, hey, watch this. Huh? Watch. Huh? Right, this is the hard bit. I hate, I hate <laughs> this. Hey, <laughs> hey. I take that? Shall I? Okay, thank you. Huh? Are you taking the camera or what? what you... Yeah, I said, shall I take that? Oh. So, shall I? Shall I take that? Um, that's okay. That's all, I'll take that. How do you talk about that? Thank you. Nice one. Hello. <laughs> oh, I thought you said I could take that. No, you should take a photo. A photo. Yeah. Oh, camera. I, oh, I'm in the camera. She said it was okay to no. take it. No. Let's uh, take that off. Don't need that. Okay. Is it on right now? Huh? Do you want me to take that? Oh, okay, great. Can I take that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> huh? What? What? Oh, I thought you want me to take okay. it. Oh. 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 Have you taken any nice photos yet? I just take Tell you what. So have a look what you've got so far. Hang on. <laughs> You're a hell of a funny man. I want you to try to see a card, not this one. You ready? Did you get one, or was that too quick? Try again. You got one? Good. Now watch this. I'm going to try and make your card travel. Think about your card. You're ready? <laughs> now try this at home. Think of any number from 1 through to 10. Got it? Now, amazingly, I know that almost everyone watching this show is thinking of an even number, apart from the odd people. Now, I'm going to show you a list of words. I just want you to look at the word next to your chosen number. Don't forget it. OK? Now, if I could tell you what word you were thinking of, that'd be pretty impressive. But we're going to go one step further, and let's try some word association. I'm going to show you ten objects, and I want you to think of the object that most closely relates to your chosen word. OK, we've got some prayer beads, a skull, a Bible, a set of tarot cards, a psycho knife, a voodoo mask, a heart, an incense burner, a wicker man, and a crucifix. Now, the incredible thing is that I've managed to influence everyone watching this program to think of the same object. Everyone that is apart from that one odd person who just had to be different and choose the knife. Breaks your heart, doesn't it?
Now, this is the strange thing, look. Look, you take the bottom off the bottle, like that, and then screw it back on. Now, there's a story about the old clock tower where the panel the guy who built it in the Middle Ages, they blinded him after he'd made it so he couldn't make any yeah, other clocks. I know the story. Yeah. You know the story, right? Yeah. Now, you know at the end, he climbed inside the tower and he broke the clock deliberately, okay. right? Oh, and yeah. they couldn't mend it for like 50 years. Yeah. But as he broke the clock, it also broke his heart and he fell down dead. Now, I'm going to try a little uh, interesting experiment. Can I first, actually, if you've got a watch on to start with, <laughs> you have oh, a watch yeah. here. Yeah. And it's got, a, it's got a second hand? Yeah, it's a small one here. Oh, right, it's tiny, yeah. tiny. Right, let me borrow your watch. Yes, you want help? To yeah, I'm not, I'm a, I'd make a crap pickpocket, <laughs> wouldn't I? I can't get it off even with his permission. <laughs> That's great. Right, that, yeah. right, what's your name? Johan. Johan, okay, yeah. you're from Sweden, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do, Johan, can you take a pulse? I don't suppose you're a, a nurse by any chance. <laughs> yeah. That was a long shot, but it would have been great. Yeah. Right, could you feel my pulse there? I want you to hold on there. And just tell me when you can feel it. Yeah. You can, can feel, feel it. it. Yes. What, in fact, what can you, with that arm, can you, can you move your finger in time with my pulse? Right? If it's, if it's a nice strong pulse, make a big movement like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Just when I it's have normal. To concentrate. I have yeah. a couple of wine, glasses of wine in me. <laughs> <laughs> I've had half a bottle of absinthe. I've got to do the routine. Yeah? Now, if that changes, can you make a smaller movement or say what's happening? Okay. Now, at the same time, I'm going to try and slow down your watch. So you have to watch the second hand very carefully. Oh, yeah? I'm going to slow that down. At the same time, I'm going to try and slow down my pulse. Right. So don't forget to keep that finger moving. Only change it if my pulse changes. Right, I'm just going to, I'll, I'll just stop speaking for me because I need to do a few breaths. Oh, yeah. Okay. And just watch the second hand. That's yeah. this, this one here, is it? Tiny mm -hmm. one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now watch that, okay. Standing quite still. It is. It's massive. Please destroy my watch. <laughs> and look, can you get his back full, pulse back? Yeah, yeah. It's come back. Is the second hand moving? The second hand is moving. Thank God for that. That could have yeah. been a short show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ty hodinky taky ne, ty stojí, Daniela. On nemá žádnou, on nemá. To není možný, tak no. <laughs> Můžu, bože. <laughs> It's not normal. Ne. <laughs> Ještě jdou, no. Aha. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for your help. That's very fine. Oh, Thank nice. you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? I'm okay, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. And your name? Karina. Karina, you're from Germany? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, right. you have to trust me now. Yeah. And whatever happens... No, no! You must... no! Uh, no! Look, don't panic. Whatever happens... No! Don't look... Don't... No! You... <laughs> you can look now. No! Emily. <laughs> It's all over. Let's hear it for Ines. Bravo. My mate Siegfried. Now, magicians have always been associated with animals. Like in the Middle Ages, it was kind of witches with their familiars, bats and cats and owls. 
And in more modern times, it was cruise ship acts with doves and rabbits, Las Vegas acts with tigers and elephants, Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee. But they could all have saved themselves a lot of hassle if they'd known how much fun you can have with a plastic spider. I want you to hold your hand out flat. OK, I'm going to put a glass on there and put your other hand on top of there. And just hold the whole thing very steady, like that, hold it nice and tight. Now, I'm going to wave my fingers over the top, and if you look inside, you'll see a little animal appear. OK, so watch, ready? Nothing? Try it again. That's not working very well. I'll tell you what, let me try I'll do that. You wave your hands over the top, OK? Ah, that's where it went. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try it. You wait, I'll put my hands on it. You wave your hands over mine. <laughs> Here we oh. go. Yeah. There we go. Ah! It's ski You wave your hand over mine. That's great. <laughs> That's not the one you need to worry about. The one you need to worry about is behind you. Now, that's not the one you need to worry about. That's the one you need to worry about. Right, that's great. What's your name? Yvette. Yvette? Larry. Larry, and you're from Texas. Hey, good old, don't mess with it. <laughs> now, you, you're here for a weekend or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just a couple of days. A yeah. couple of days, yeah. yeah. You've got your, uh, what's, what's this? A gr look, a great weekend in Prague. There is no other sort. Mm -hmm. Can I try a little experiment here now? Yes. We're going to try sure. something weird. What's going to happen is I'm going to flick through that book. Mm -hmm. and is it Yvette? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to flick through that book and I want you to tell me when to stop. I'll just flick through. Whenever you feel the urge, just say stop. Stop. There? Have a look at that page. I'm looking the other way. I don't want to see. But just to stare at that page and just get a general image of it, yeah? Okay. yeah? Look at the page number. I don't know whether it's in the top or bottom or wherever. But just kind of look at the page overall. Remember something kind of distinctive about it, yeah? Okay. Now, hold on to that book. Now, let's right, concentrate, both of you, on that page. Let me have a look. Um, I'm getting um, the colour yellow. Have we got a yellow? Uh, there's one main picture, but it's not a... You get the picture of a bird or something, so it's presumably a canary or something like that. Does that ring any? No? Um, something like that. Is it a wing? It's not a bird, it's kind of a. It's a plane, is it an aeroplane, but like a strange aeroplane, a yellow aeroplane? Yes. Okay, let's think. I still get a bird for something, but it's the number. Eight. <laughs> 87. Yeah. Page yep. 87? Yes. Could you just show us page 87 to see what's, what was on there? What's, what's the matter? There is no page 87. There's no page 87? Check the rest of the book. Is there any page 87 in there? Let's see, it's actually torn out. You can see the edge of it, yeah? Just show us. <laughs> right, now, have a look at this. Watch. Right, at what point did we look away? <laughs> Page 87. Look, there's got a yellow plane. Mm -hmm. That's a look, uh, that's see al we got the word albatross as well. That's what I'm thinking of. I can think of bird and yellow and wings to see now. Just make sure that is the just that match exactly. That is page 87. Yep. yep. It is. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry about the book. <laughs> it demands a new one. <laughs> This is the Sword Swallower Starter Kit with these uh, little needles. Now, Nico, I want you to hold on to those and just make sure they're sharp. The lemon's sharp as well, but we don't need that. But just check that they are metal needles. There's nothing sort of fiddly about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to take a piece of cotton here. Now, if you could just uh, hold on to the end of the cotton and I'll just burn it through. That's great. Now, this is the bit I don't like, to be honest. This is... Uh, I have to... Uh, It's not great, but the chicks dig it. Yeah, very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak with my mouth full, otherwise I've got an answer for that. <laughs> right. Oh, I hate this one. Okay, let's have the needles. Now, you're, you're happy that they are metal needles, they're not fake ones. I'll try and get them out before the morning, yeah. Okay. Gone. Now, if this works, it's great. If it doesn't work, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Now have a look at this. Now this coin is going to vanish. Not only that, it's going to fly invisibly through the airwaves, probably changing currency along the way, and it's ended up in your living room, tucked right down the back of your sofa. Have a look. And if it is there, don't forget to post it back for me, will you? When I first heard that there was a Czech chapel lined with human bones, I thought, this sounds like a job for changing rooms. But having got here, it is spectacular. The church at Kutnahora, 50 miles from Prague, is decorated with the remains of no less than 40,000 victims of the Black Death. This has got to be the spookiest place in Europe. It all started in the 13th century, when a monk returned to the church with a handful of soil taken from Christ's grave. Now that's got to be the best excuse ever for having dirty nails. Kutnahora soon became famous throughout Europe as the cemetery to die for, and soon anyone who was anyone was queuing up to be seen dead there. The crypt was close to bursting point when the Schwarzenberger family bought it in the 19th century, so they hired a local woodcarver to perform the most bizarre makeover ever. Theirs must be the only family coat of arms anywhere, which is literally a coat of arms. By 1870, 40,000 corpses have been given a new lease of life. A touch ironic when you consider that at the time, Kutnahora was the tobacco producing capital of Europe. Who says smoking's bad for you? My gorgeous friend Maketa, who lives in Prague, and uh, I'm going to show you a weird trick. Do you smoke? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. Have you got any money? Um, uh, any cash? She has? Yeah. Oh, she, even if she hasn't, it's a good excuse to root around in fabulous PVC trousers, and we like that. Right. Great, what's that? 200, that's it's about. 200, yeah. That's, that's about. Money. That's about gas mark five in old money if you're watching it black and white. Yeah. Now, what we need to do, Katarina, sign your name across that note. It's nice and big across okay. there. Now, this is strictly illegal here in the Czech Republic. You can be hung for this, but this is rock and roll TV. That's it, brilliant. Good. Do we now, get the money back? Well, we'll see. It depends <laughs> how well the trick goes, really. <laughs> now, this is, as I say, is a cigarette trick, so I'm going to make the note look roughly like a cigarette by rolling it up. Right, so we're going to do that. 
Now we're not going to smoke this, uh, but by the, actually by the smell of this place, I think some people are smoking something like this. But see, it's like a cigarette there. But what I'm going to do is fold that in half, and I'll put that in my rather camp little purse here, right? Now I don't usually carry this around. This is strictly for this trick. All right, so we're going to jam that, pull that tight, like, oops, like that. Now I want you to hold on to that by the string. Now, can you feel that? As that swings, yeah. it should start to become heavy. Can you feel it getting heavier? That's fantastic. Now, give it a shake up and down. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. What's that? That's coins. Open it up. Open up the little bag and tip it out on the table. Coins. Where's the note? Is there any note there? There's nothing in my hands. Pick up the coins. Come with me. Can't you see what I'm trying to say? Darling, I love you. Right. Right, that's right. Brilliant. Now, what sort of cigarettes do you prefer? There's a cigarette machine over here. Uh, we got. Get, get the coins out. Let's put the coins in while you decide. All right. Uh, we got what? Lucky Strike, Marlboro's. What? What do you prefer? We, this, sorry, that one or that one? That one. That one. Right. You press the button. Okay. You take the cigarettes out of there, and uh, you open the. Oh, we got change as well. Right. Yeah, yeah I've done that as well. Right, brilliant. <laughs> now let's go and sit in the lighters back there. So undo the packet for me, just unravel it. Should I open it? Yeah, open it up for me. That's great. Now to open the packet and take out a cigarette. Okay. Any one you like. Doesn't necessarily to be. Uh, that, that's great. Give that one to me. I'll stick that. No, you, you, don't be greedy. Let me have one. You take one yourself. Now I'm going to light that one for you. Okay. Hello. That's not burning properly. Hang on. Look at that. There's something strange about that. Watch. See that? Look. Now this is the key from a house that burnt down 150 years ago and uh, unfortunately a family died in the fire and uh, people heard them hammering on the door but they couldn't get out and it was strange because when they found the ashes of the fire, it was a wooden house so all that was left was the lock and the key and yet the lock was open but someone looked at the key very closely and they could see it moving and apparently this key sort of has a life of its own, it moves by itself. I'll show you, whenever you heat it, watch what happens, just look closely at that. I'm going to heat there and watch what happens here. You see the key moving, so the key seems to react. Oh, oh look! Seems to react to heat. <laughs> Did you have a go at this? I tell you what. What I'll do, I'll make a kind of little sort of a tent type arrangement here. I'll put the key inside there. Okay, that goes in there. I'll close it up. What I want you to do is take the light and light it over here and just bring it slowly over to the middle and back again. Okay, just just very, very slowly. All right, I'll hold this down here. No, I'll just I'll hold it kind of so about that high would be good. All right, and see if we get it to move more. Okay, there we go. Here we go. It's weird. Look, look at that. I'll move away again. Now, now bring it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's like the rabbits. <laughs> but the even stranger thing yeah. is that the key even ends up hot. That was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Helena, take one of those, have that, that coin there. Sign your initials on there, Helena. Don't know what your last name is. Yeah, just kind of, that's, 
That's great. Him. All right, let's, let's show that to camera so we can see that nice and clear. Now, what's going to happen, Helena? I'm going to put that in my hand and I want you to hold my wrist very tightly like that so I can't get, sneak anything out. Just hold it nice and tight yeah. like that. That's great. Now, watch this. Can you hear anything in my hand? Can you hear? No. No? Try again. You hear something now? Yeah. It's kind of a ticking noise. That'll be a little clue. Cause look at that. Oh. Inside there, and it's a watch. Oh. <laughs> Not just any watch, but my watch. Now, that'll be a little hint to where the coin is. Any ideas? So, We're here. In, in, in your Let's have watch. a look inside there. Oh! <laughs> is that your coin? It is. Yes. It's all your initials. Yes. Okay, now hold your hand out. I'll tell you how I do this trick. Right, I've got a secret little friend who helps with the trick. Right, hold that coin out on your finger. I'll show it in action. Watch, watch this. You're not going to believe this. I have this secret little helper. So you've got your coin there. Watch this. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! It's <laughs> cute. Oh, here he is. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now here's something great to try at your local burger restaurant. What you do is you get yourself a lipstick. Now I just want to point out and be serious for this part of the show, this lipstick has not been tested on the animals. So we'll sort that out now. Look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous. <works>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Now what you do, get your lipstick and put a little fake zit on the end of your nose, a little fake spot which I don't need to do because I've got a real one there. That's dedication for you, method acting. <laughs> now, you get your fake zit, you walk into your burger bar. First thing that'll happen is they'll offer you a job. Now, don't take the job straight away, right? Play hard to get. Hold out for maybe, you know, 50 pence an hour. Get behind the bar, and they've always got pillars with mirrors, pillars with mirrors behind the bar, so behind the counter. So what you do is you wait for your first customer coming through the door, and you just start messing with your zit in the mirror at the same time, OK? So you go, uh, hello, can I... Uh, can Oh, bloody hell, that's that quick. Do you, would, would, do you want to large it? Oh, look at the size of that. Would it, do you, uh, with cheese, yeah. Jesus. Right. Excuse me. Oh, ah, e, ah, oh, ah, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That was. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that, was, that was a bit. That was better than I expected. I'm screaming. <laughs> You're yeah. creaming on national television, that's <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Israeli. Australian. Australian. Sorry, right. So you do speak Israeli. English. That's, it's me that doesn't speak English. Yeah. So can I ask you a really weird question? Can I? Because you've got quite unusual hair. Can I borrow one of your hairs for a second? Yeah. I know it's a bit of a strange one. I'm going to actually cut that off. I'm going to cut. In fact, I've got a couple where it's not not drastic. Yeah, no, All right. That's, that's fantastic. You're Dutch. And maybe in a minute. It's right. No, you, if you're Dutch, I want something else. But we'll talk about that in a second. All right. Now, here's something to try if you live with someone that's really annoying and keeps leaving long hairs all over the bath or like the toenail clippings right on the floor or everywhere. Get yourself a doll. Now, this can be any sort of doll, right? Preferably not inflatable because you've got to cut a slit in the front. And what you do is take the offending body bit and stuff it inside the doll. Now, to all intents and purposes, that means that this doll now represents him over there. And here's where you can have a bit of fun. Nice bum. Now the favourite tipple in the whole of Prague, apart from the fantastic beer, is this stuff, absinthe, which is kind of a combination between fairy liquid and crack. 
and it has much the same effect. <laughs> now, what this stuff was actually banned for years, uh, apart from in the Czech Republic, where they actually uh, um, gave it away during the Second World War, half litre rationing per person. That's the kind of people they are here, my kind of people. Now, the way you take it, it's great, because it's like if you feel like you're taking heroin or something, right? You get a spoonful of sugar, and then you melt it down. Now, this is the stuff that Van Gogh was drinking when he cut off his ear. And it's also what uh, Picasso and all sorts of poets used to use. Now, then that's just about done. When that's kind of melted, what you do, you kind of drizzle it into the drink. I've always wanted to use the word drizzle outside a cookery program. Look at that. You drop that in there. Mind your hand there. I'm not going to set fire to you, uh, so you drop that in there, and that hopefully sweetens it a bit. Okay, so give that a, a quick mix up. Wow, that's really going, that. Good, a bit more fire there. And then you hopefully put it out with a bit of ice. Like that. Try not to set fire to the sugar bowl. And that's about ready to go. Obviously, we put that out before we try it. That's it. Great. Now, the uh, main thing about absinthe, the reason it was banned, is because it's very strong alcohol-wise, and it's a hallucinogen, causes blindness and brain damage. That's my kind of drink. So do you want to try some? Try a little, you don't look too sure. Try a little bit of that, it's fantastic stuff. Nice, <laughs> strong. Yeah, right. it's good. Now what we're gonna do is see if it really does have a, a hallucinogenic effect. What we're gonna do is wrap this bottle up inside here. Now what we need to do is, is make sure it, it is a solid bottle. Just give that a bang, make sure it's solid there. There you go. Okay, and check my hands as well. I don't want you thinking that's, there's anything wrong with my hands. They do say absinthe makes the hand go fondle. <laughs> right, now watch this. You're not gonna believe this. See if the hallucinogenic effect has started. <laughs> and that's absinthe for you. <laughs> Right, now here's an interesting little experiment with this. Look, we've got a bottle of, what is it, tonic, tonic water there. Now, I'm going to turn this upside down in a second, hopefully without spilling it everywhere. Now, what you do, you put your fingers on, tilt it like that, and watch. <laughs> like that, and watch. The weird thing about this is you can put things inside and they float up. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Completely pointless, but it's cool. <laughs> Look at that. See? Because it's not. <laughs> nah, the hard part's get it back over without spilling it. Whoop. You do that. One of the most famous illusions in the history of magic is the catching the bullet in the mouth trick. Chung Ling Su, a famous Chinese magician, died in 1918 on stage doing this trick. A dozen magicians have died doing this trick. I'm not feeling very well myself, but I think that's the absinthe. Now, I've always fancied doing this trick, but I thought I'd try and make it slightly less dangerous. So I've got rid of the gun. So I'm doing the catching the bullet in the mouth without the aid of a gun. Now, have a look at that. Sorry? No, don't throw it at me. It's a typical, typical American if, if, if he's... Just, uh, <laughs> you said I, you'd ditch the gun. I thought that's what I was Can I throw something at you? Slingshot. As long as you wear PVC while you do it, that'll be fine. Um, now, what, there's various ways of firing a bullet. I mean, you can do it by just hitting the end really hard, but it's a bit unpredictable as to where the actual bullet part will go, right? Yeah. Now, the other way, which is really dangerous, is by holding a, a flame underneath uh, the bullet, which is actually stupidly dangerous. I mean, just uh, even, even a split second would, right you know... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was lucky, that could have had my eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Just... 
And later to meet a great friend of mine and a fabulous showbiz golfing chum. We first worked together at Maggie Mays Fun Bar on Central Pier, Blackpool in 1990, and since then he's gone on to great things. You won't find a better speciality at this side of the Wellington Pier, Yarmouth. He's the only soul swallower I know that sits down to do the job. Whether that's because he's pinned himself to the seat, I don't know. But please put your hands together and welcome the fabulous Emil Ondracek. I've got a pack of tarot cards, and you know all about tarot cards, there's nothing kind of scary about them. But I'm going to do a little reading for you, and this is about your love life. Oh, good. Hey. I need that. Okay, good. It gets better all the time. <laughs> now, the first two cards that I deal out are going to tell me about your past love life. Okay. okay, so let's have a look. There's the first one. The lovers. Oh, so you were in a relationship not too long ago, is that right? Yes. The next card shows why it bro broke up. Because the man was a fool. Is that right? <laughs> so right. It's amazing, isn't it? That was perfect yeah? synopsis, yes. Well, let's have a look at the present then. Okay. At present. I'm a fool? No. There's <laughs> only one fool in that. You're the, oh, you're on your own. Oh, bless. <laughs> Solitude, that one is, the hermit. But let's have a look. What's next? Oh, things are going to change. The Wheel of Fortune. Very good. good fortune. Now, for the future. Okay, let's have a look for the future. This tells me how you are at the moment, or what sort of person you are, okay. right? And then we'll find your partner. So, oh, you're a, a horny little devil. Right, well, no wonder if you've been on your own for a while. And then the final card here tells me who's going to be your ideal next okay. love partner. Here we go. Oh, and it's the magician. Magician. <laughs> oh, can you believe that? That's what. I, hey, what, what a coincidence. Anyway, right. Anyway, thanks for helping a lot. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, <laughs> Now, we're going to try and use some static for this. So, how's your static? Can we get some static off your hair? So we go? All right. OK, let's see if it works. I'll bring my hand down with the static. Look. <laughs> see that? <laughs> try it again. Try and get it to fold all the way up. Just get some more static. Ready? Just get that flat. Ready? Look. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Watch carefully. Look. Nice. No, are you kidding, man? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> What, what kind of hair do you do? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to try a little experiment in psychokinesis. Now I'm going to get you to try and move this pen for me, right? We're going to balance this pen on the edge of the glass and I do it so it's almost falling off, just about there. Now I want you to concentrate, now don't bang the table and don't blow, but just look at the pen and imagine something pushing down on that end of the pen, okay? So just look at that. Look, do you see, look. Whatever you do, don't bang the table. That concentrate and just think, oh, whoa. Oh. No one move, concentrate on the pen. Just think move. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you might have overdone it there.
Shh. Got to be very quiet. Shh. Oh my fuck! <laughs> right now, who's wearing any jewellery? Who is it who's got rings on? You got I any have, rings? I have some. Oh, that's an interesting one. We like that one. That's a, that's a big it's kind from of Poland. Uh, from Poland. From Krakow. Oh, really? That's, is that yeah. why it's Krakowed? Yeah. Good. Okay. Can I borrow that for a second? Let's just get a nice close up of that. Look at it. Oh, have a look at that. Beautiful. Now, watch. I want you to hold on to my hand, Horses right? In yeah. Make sure it doesn't move. Right. Hold yeah. my hand. That's great. Now, whatever happens, don't let go of that. Because watch what's going to happen. Ready? Are you yeah. watching? Yes. Watch. Yes, we are. Oh, we are. We are. Right. Oh my god, oh, that was something amazing. Maybe does someone else have one we can borrow? I have one. What? You, you, but ha you have to give it back to me, really. Oh, really? I didn't realise that. Oh. What are we going to do about so yours? I, was gonna I have to give it back. No way. I want to give it back. Are you sure? This is my memory. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not going to. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. Come Maybe. with me for a second. Come with me. <laughs> right. Now, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to get it back, but I can get you a little present for helping me. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, okay. Well, I've got a friend over here who owns yeah. a flower shop. Just move over here. I don't need flower, I need my ring back. Well, well if you're very, very Give good, I'm going to do something special here. Okay, what's your name, by the way? Magda. Magda. Okay, Magda. Magda. You see these three roses on this yeah. bush? Just pick one of those roses, point to one. Now, watch, no, there's nothing in my hand. This one, this one, this one. This one. It's her ring she could choose. Okay. okay. You sure? Yeah, you can yeah. have that one. No. Check my hands, make sure there's nothing there, there's nothing yeah. hidden. Inside this rose, you're not going to believe this, but have a look inside here, because <laughs> there is it. Oh. Oh, there is the one. There oh, is Did you pick that one? It might oh, be this one. Oh, Hang on. Let's yeah, have a look at that me. one. Is there anything oh. in that one? <laughs> oh, I, oh, I know what's happening. Oh, it's bloody happened oh, again. I get so oh. fed up. This little son, look at this. Look, this little bloody. <laughs> Sudden, look, 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 look at that. These little buggers nicked it again. Look, get, get off. Come on, drop it. Drop it, you little swine. Come on, let go. Is that your ring? Yeah. It is, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, what's your name? Alia. Alia. Right, we're going to play a little game of okay. trick or treat. Right. Now, we've got four fantastic oh. souvenirs of old Prague. Yeah, he's going, oh, yes. OK, now, four souvenirs. You're going to choose one to take home with you if you ever eventually go home. Don't right? say that. I'm going home soon. Oh, are you? All right, fair yeah. enough. Well, this is a lovely gift to take back. Okay. Now, we've got four different ones here. Now, what we're going to do is eliminate three of them, and you're just going to end up with one. So, first of all, point to any two bags. Any two, right? Yeah. That one and that one. That one and that one. Yeah. OK, right, let's move those out of the way. Now, out of those two, which is it going to be? Um, you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's yours then. Now let me just show you what you order one. Now let's have a look in here. Some fantastic gifts. I can't believe that we can afford things like this to give away. Look at that. We've got a beautiful. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's <laughs> very nice, <laughs> right? Yeah. And it's got a Damn, picture of Prague. Sure yeah, I know it's sad, but you know, you can't I have like it always. It. All right, let's have a look in this. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> that's got. Uh, that's the ancient Czech word for bulldozer. <laughs> no, it's not. For some reason. <laughs> This one, the other one. I know you're getting more and more disappointed. Look, we've got inside there, we've got that one. That's, you see, that's better. That's so much quality, we've even left the price tag on. To <laughs> it. But unfortunately, empty. But I think you made the right choice, okay. because you chose this one out of all four. This is it. This is your prize. And there it is. <laughs> He's OK. He's all right. Look, no, 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 just for you. <laughs> Look, he's lovely. Look. He's beautiful. Look. Isn't that fantastic? Now, next tonight on 4, it's our powerful, provocative and disturbing new drama. Escapism is about to turn into something quite shocking. Men Only is coming up. Thank you.